Welcome back. Now we continue our discussion on how sports can be deployed to bring about peace and development in Nigeria, Africa, and the world at large. But joining me now at the moment is John Oluadero. He is the Commonwealth Youth Sport for Development and Peace Working Group. He's actually the Africa Regional Representative. John, it's a pleasure to have you with us this afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Victor. Let's just look at sports in a, in a, in a wider perspective now. Um, looking at um, developments and, and partnerships, how would you say that has fostered um, peace and development in Nigeria so far? Uh, firstly, I think um, we need to appreciate uh, the uniqueness of sports in terms of its ability uh, to bring people together from uh, different uh, backgrounds, religion, race, and all of that. We also need to recognize the fact that sport in itself is a communication tool. We try to, uh, if sports can be harnessed effectively, it can be used to pass across messages in terms of mentorship, guidance, and uh, some other uh, ways uh, where sports can actually be harnessed as a way of connecting people together. Now, having said that, uh, coming back home, we need to realize that uh, sport is not just a tool for competition. It's not just maybe uh, people trying to win. We need to see sport as a tool that can bring about development and peace. And that, in actual sense, is what my working group is working about, uh, is working on. And in Nigeria, uh, there has been, uh, although the concept is just coming up as a way, sport for development and peace is just coming up. What we're kind of used to here is sports development generally. That is why you see a lot of innovation coming up from sports, maybe the, um, the betting competitions there and there. But using sport for development and peace is a new uh, idea, is a new concept coming up. And uh, we're hoping that uh, there has been testimonies that have been, uh, take for instance, uh, okay, I was at Chinese TV uh, National Kids Camp. Uh, co Competition. Competition is one cup, of those ways. Cup, yeah. Though it might be seen from the competitive side, but uh, from the, I believe there will be coaching, preparing the students uh, for the competition. But those coaching actually provide a platform for the teacher, I mean the sport teacher, to relate with the student, to get to know the student. And also, it also creates a platform for the students to, uh, to kind of, um, let me say, it enhances uh, the, uh, the awareness, the well-being of the students. We, we, we all know the place of sport in terms of uh, promoting uh, web being. I mean, pharmacists, I, 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 there are times that I even, let me say, prescribe exercise yeah. for patients. There are times that are brisk walking, uh, especially for those uh, that have uh, diabetes and they are even going to the stage of um, maybe having a uh, foot or so. There are times you prescribe brisk walking. Mm -hmm. uh, even f uh, for burning weight, I mean, obesity in mm -hmm. obese patients, uh, you use sports. So I think we need to realize also the fact that sport is mm -hmm. not the general sense of football, or maybe uh, volleyball, tennis, and all of that. I mean, to see sport in terms of play, in terms of exercise, we can see how that has uh, affected a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, younger kids in terms of early childhood development, uh, growing up, and all of that. Sport is a wonderful tool, if well harnessed. Well, if well harnessed. Um, but you made mention of it being a new phenomenon now, speaking about Nigeria. How well has it been um, received? Because we, we have some troubled regions, you know, in the country. How... Um, can we use sports to foster peace in these places that have been um, having skirmishes, in either um, internally or you know from external um, factors? Thank you very much. Uh, one of our projects uh, at CYSDP is SD, SDP for IDPs. Now, what uh, the major goal of that is, is you know some of these are people uh, gathered, they, they came from various backgrounds. That's right. They are just coming together at the camp. Some are, although they might be from same community, some might not be from same community. They don't know themselves. They, are, they just get to meet together at that camp. Now, one of those things you can use to bring them together is through sports. Organized exercise, organized sports, football, comp uh, not competitions, just football. Let's, football, just let's say football tourneys, yeah, tournaments. Yeah, let's just uh, organize between. So they get to know themselves. What is your name? I'm um, from social -so community. No, through that, they get to know themselves. And aside that, you know, sometimes when you play some of this football, you forget about your, all of those experiences and pain. You know, I remember when, when we were kids and maybe you had a bad grade in school. You can just go and pick your, up your football, play around, and when you come back in the evening, you remember that, oh, I still have football to play. <laughs> so uh, that is one of those things that uh, at least it's, it brings hope. It's, it connects people together. And that, uh, one of the things we are doing is we are doing it in not just football, because it's like football is a major 
spots that we're kind of used to here, but at least we can let us set up a sort of like a mini youth space in mm -hmm. IDPs whereby they have access to table tennis, no cars, uh, f uh, footballs, uh, even Ludo, uh, and some of these other Scrabble. uh, scrabbles and games that sure, they, sure. at least they can use that to relax and uh, get to know themselves better. So okay. that's one of those ways that sports can also surely be used to. Uh, let me say, uh, palliate the effect of uh, these insomnias uh, on, uh, on these people. All right, John Oluadero, Africa Regional Representative, Commonwealth Youth Sport for Development and Peace Working Group. It's been a pleasure having you in the program this afternoon. Thank you, sir. And sharing your thoughts as well. Thank you, sir. Well, that's where we are. We we'll take another break. And when we return, we do see your comments coming through our social media platforms. We're going to take a look at some of them and then review the most viewed videos on our YouTube channel in the past week. Please join us again. Well, if you are coming here, coming here to do what? This week's top five video starts from the bottom, with the River State Governor Nyesom Wike bearing his mind on the political happenings in the oil rich South Southern state. But if you are coming for the fact that you want to come and rig the election, it will not be easy for you because the people will resist that rigging. And in resisting that rigging, anything could happen. <laughs> In fourth place is the royal wedding of the Orni of Ife, Obadeye Enito Ogunsi. Up next is the presidential spokesperson Femi Adeshino asking Nigerians complaining of darkness to hold pipeline vandals responsible. Know. You know what happened? Many Nigerians don't know. After we had that 5,000, there was a vandalism of gas pipeline, first in Bielsa. We've heard we, that so we, many times. Yes, Bielsa. we lost about 1,600 megawatts in one day. And then there was another one in Delta State. We lost about another 1,000 megawatts. So if some people are crying that they are in darkness. They should go and hold those who vandalize the installations. And in second place is the video of the health minister ordering the management of Luth to give free services to poor Nigerians. We cannot justify denying poor Nigerians treatment because they do not have money. So those who are poor genuinely will have a social system that will try and identify them, that will try and locate where they live and be sure they are truly poor. We will look after them. And topping the charts is the video of fuel scarcity biting harder around Nigerian states. In fact, the cause of the traffic is due to this uh, fuel scarcity. That's, the one, that's why we are seeing all this uh, traffic along the major route where there are petrol stations. Well, there you go to view those videos all over again. Just visit our YouTube channel. It's www.youtube.com forward slash channels web. Now, the practice of sports is a recognized instrument for promoting peace as it disregards both geographical borders and social classes. Sport is a powerful tool to strengthen social ties and networks and to promote ideals of peace, solidarity, nonviolence, 
tolerance and justice. So, as the world celebrates the International Day of Sports for Development and Peace, Nigerians are encouraged to engage in as more sporting activities as possible to foster peace. But that's the program this week. But do remember, we continue online via the social media addresses showing on your screen. Thank you for watching. I'm Victor Matthias. Thank you.